So with that, we bring in Mark Tietzen, former chief speechwriter for President George W. Bush, American Enterprise Institute senior fellow and a Fox News contributor. Mark, a lot of emotions on all sides uh, yeah. in this issue. Uh, what do you make of it? Well, first of all, I was in the Pentagon on September 11, 2001. I felt the building shake. I smelled the smoke. I spent three years traveling with Secretary Rumsfeld uh, to every battlefront in the war on terror. So I, I, I watched this unfold with my very own eyes and my ears and my senses. Um, the the hardest thing that we have to do in U.S. foreign policy broadly, this is not about not about golf, but generally, is balance U.S. interests and our concern with human rights with the fact that we need sometimes pro-American dictatorships around the world or pro-American regimes. That, are, that do not have human rights records that uh, that uh, we we like or, or condone. Um, this is Saudi Arabia is the only country in the Middle East that is a bulwark, uh, is a vital bulwark against Iran, which is the real threat to American interests around the world and to our ally Israel. Uh, we can't break our relationship with Saudi Arabia. We need a strong relationship with Saudi Arabia, despite the fact that we have major disagreements on human rights. But you know, when, when President Trump was in office, uh, he made his first trip to Saudi Arabia. He tried to force or just better relations with our, Gulf, with our Gulf allies. And the result of that was four Abraham Accords, not one, not two, three, uh, four Arab-Israeli peace accords, the first ones uh, since uh, in 25 years. President Biden comes in and announces he's going to make Saudi Arabia pariah. And the result of that was uh, that we have the first uh, Saudi, uh, Saudi Iranian a diplomatic accord, which was brokered by China. That's, right. uh, that's not good for us. So, so you know, the, it, it, I, I understand the emotion and I feel the emotion. Um, but, but we need Saudi Arabia. We need to have good relations. That's now that Gulf may be a different story, but. You know, I'm sorry. Where are the hearings against uh, for about uh, China, the NBA's uh, business dealings with China? The NBA has become a foreign agent for the Chinese Communist Party. We've got Russia right now invading uh, Ukraine, committing war crimes. They're going to be invited to participate in the in the Paris Olympics. We just had the Chinese Communist Party host the Beijing Olympics, and all these corporate sponsors, Nike, Coca-Cola, all the rest of them. You know, where were the hearings into them for subsidizing that and for promoting that? Uh, so you know, there. there the sports and, and, and politics are, are problematic, but we need to have a relationship with Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I, I understand uh, where you're coming from. And um, Jimmy Dunn knows the pain of September 11th as deeply as anyone who yeah. was affected by it. He lost his best friend yes, and pretty much everyone that he worked with in the building on that day. On the other hand, you know, the families would love some more transparency from the government of Saudi Arabia about what they knew. And perhaps, you know, some of that can be part of this arrangement as well to go part of the way to the information that they desperately want um, on accountability. Mark, thank you very much. Always good to have you here. Thank you, Martha. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.